Hey there everyone, this is Shadow Girl, uh, playing more Catherine Blonde. No, um, I'm doing all this post commentary because so when I was recording this, I wasn't up to watch the uh, recording. So, oh, doing commentary really, so uh, my plan was just uh, do I have, do I either do everything in post or it's just live commentary uh, where I'm just running around talking to people as opposed to just uh, talking for the whole hour. But uh, as it turned out, I actually ended up recording all of uh, Spiral Staircase, which is the uh, next area we're going to. So, uh, yeah, we're not actually going to see all of Spiral Staircase, I'm just going to go to the first three areas, since that took like about an hour to do anyway. And uh, as for everything else, well, that's going to be in the next session. It's, uh, that's also going to be the post commentators in the place where we're just running around and talking to people with all of because uh, anyway, let's, let's I'd rather just have at least some commentary in, in uh, this playthrough rather than uh, no commentary. Uh, at the time I was doing this, I was down with a cold and I had a sore throat and I was losing my voice. And I also needed to, I also really wanted to do Jet Set Radio. At the time, I was going to record Jet Set Radio straight after I'd uh, recorded Kappa. And uh, I was hoping that I would uh, finish off uh, the recording for Jet Set Radio, as far as uh, playing the game was concerned. Uh, I still have to do the bonus thing for that, but so, details, details. I have some time to do just that. But uh, we have text messages, uh, that's just for beating the previous level. And uh, Catherine's just saying, hey, what's going on? It's like, uh, have you been involved in something bad? Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems, etc. So, uh, I do a reply. And uh, pretty much everything that I did in this section up to uh, when I finished Spiral Staircase, I actually answered in a way that swung the cow meter strong towards war. So, uh, that's kind of what I was going for. It's not uh, completely at law because you know if it was completely at law, I would go for uh, I'd probably say start thinking about maybe going for the true love is ending. Um, as far as the endings are concerned, I'm actually just going to point this out now to some of the great post comes, and I've not really got very much to say uh, at the current point in time. Um, there are ways, I'm, I've had a look at uh, how I get uh, the endings I can at this current uh, stage with the car meter, it's where it is. And uh, I believe I can get to the, the regular neutral ending, the normal lover's ending, and the bad cheater's ending. Uh, so it's going to be one of those I do, and I know I've figured out how to, to get them because, sorry. Uh, to get different endings, you. Basically, it's going to be what you say for the camera meter. And I've pretty much picked the worst of three years now because, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, politics. Bad politics generally lead to bad economic. Because, uh. Well, have you seen the government nowadays? Like, seriously. Oh, but anyway, off track and, uh, stop being satirical, so we can't do it. Um. Yeah, the three endings I can do is uh, neutral, uh, bad cheater, and normal lover. And in chapter nine, uh, when you do the questions in the confessional, they are what uh, determine which ending you get, along with the uh, calorimeter itself. But yeah, Catherine C now gives us a message, and she actually gives us an image which we are not going to see, and I'm not going to reply to that until. Uh, I can actually view that picture. But uh, considering that it's a picture of Catherine C, it's uh, probably her with the next to nothing on. Not that I mind particularly, but uh, you know, Vincent probably does mind. Uh, I think I was also supposed to talk to him whilst I was actually sat at the bar, but I never actually got the chance to. Uh, basically, all I did uh, when I sat at the bar here, uh, I talked to the uh, the woman at the side of me, and I was like, uh, 
Um, stuff. And then I believe I also touched the boss, and by the time I did that, so uh, began the last uh, lap. And uh, probably not the best thing, because I know I need to talk to him and keep encouraging him so that he doesn't fall off the edge of the uh, tight message. Because, uh, gonna spoil it though, that's the guy who's been giving us techniques this whole time, who's been talking about uh, someone who he apparently killed. Uh, who was, who was writing about, he's the writer, guy who was talking about writing about the girl who died. And he thinks it's his fault. But uh, he gets chased by her every night and uh, he doesn't have to mind for some other reason. Uh, also at this time I was actually paying him much notice to the uh, the fact about the uh, cocktail. And as for all those, I think that's probably the only tune I'm going to be getting this week, uh, one for that. Uh, you just, you do them all, and I believe every night you actually have to do at least one of them, because you want to get to one, uh, trivia thing a night. What would you like now? So I just, uh, I'll have some sake, I didn't, so I've not had sake for a long time. In this game, I'll be honest. I've not had uh, sake at all. I am not. So I am not one for uh, alcohol. As I'll be honest. It ain't getting any better. It doesn't matter. Might as well already said that before as well. Break up with that girl. I think I'm going to cite my reasons why I am. Uh, why I'm not but an alcohol person. But to put it straight, because I've watched the bar before and I've seen how people get when they have far too much strength, and I just generally don't want to do that. Um, and well, truth be told, I don't really have um, very much to say, I just talk to the remaining people out here. Um, if this was live comms, I'd probably be responding to it a lot more, but I'm not, so not. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope. Well, I talked to everybody, and once everybody's left, um, I believe I also get a phone call from Catherine K, and I make sure I reassure her that she was all right, everything was fine. And then everybody leaves, and then Catherine C shows up. Uh, I was actually trying to get uh, the whiskey, get the tribute for whiskey because I'd already got the tribute for everything else. All the day, I was going for the whiskey one, I was about to drink the last thing for the whiskey, and then Catherine C showed up, and then after the cutscene that followed, uh, Vincent just wanted to go, so uh, alright, fine, just go and start the nightmare stage already, which is going to be in the next video. So, uh, since I don't really care much time to say and now for like the next uh, five minutes or so. I'm just gonna let everybody else do the talking, so uh, I will see you later guys. Bye bye. Repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh Cheer up. Uh, don't patronize me. Goodbye. Don't torment yourself too much. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay.
Um, no. Nah. No. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. Johnny looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. What is it? I'm sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. And hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. Seriously, I'm sorry. Good night. Sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. Whew. That man's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. Mm. Stupid as I am, I just have to give up and move on. Sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know the true meaning behind Nama Ippon, a type of Japanese sake? There are a 
conditions a sake brewer must follow to label their sake nama ipome. One, it must only be made with rice and malted rice. Two, no water is added after squeezing. Three, no sake from other batches may be mixed into the brew. This means that the drink is pure rice sake. Use this knowledge the next time you buy sake. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? Yeah. Beer? Uh, sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Sure thing. Just wait. There you go. Last call's coming up. Hey, about those nightmares. Is it true you're all... <sighs> Whoa, this is really spooky. Like I was the only one hiding something. Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug, beer is loved all over the world. But where did it come from? The earliest records of beer making are from 5,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia. It's said the barley used to make bread fermented naturally, and beer was created by coincidence. The earliest known alcohol is said to be from 9,000 years ago in China, a mix of rice and fruit alcohols. I guess you could say humanity's had a long time to enjoy their drinks. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? Yeah. Whiskey? Uh, sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Sure thing. Just wait. There you go. Last call's coming up. I am. I just have to give up and move on. She really looks tired today. I'm kind of worried. Ah, uh, shoot. Is this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. All right, take care. Can't start this party without you. Now, come. Did I, did I just hear something? Yes, I'm here. Were you waiting for me, Vincent? What? Uh, why are you here? Hey, have you ever cheated on anyone, Vincent? Huh? Well, uh... I can't imagine. It's you, after all. I've cheated on someone before. But don't worry, I'm only seeing you. Uh, how do I say this? It's really strange that I feel this way. <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? Oh, I'm probably not making much sense. Well... Man, you're not talking much today. I'm just sitting here with some guy who's not saying anything. We're done talking today. Sorry, I'll see you tomorrow. I've been tired lately and I want to sleep alone. Uh, oh. Then that's too bad. What? You're going home already? I have something to do. Oh, I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night. <laughs> 